Yeah, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. It's 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 more than just a small honor for me. I, I I'm somewhat overwhelmed by it all. Well, well deserved. So. Thank you. I'm going to ask you a few questions to help people get to know you a little bit better. Uh, how did you get involved in wrestling? Well, how I got involved in wrestling was my brothers started wrestling. My sister's boyfriend at the time, he was a real good wrestler at Lompoc High School. He was a CIF champ. And somehow my older brothers started doing it and got hooked. And next thing you know, we were their, we were their wrestling dummies. And one thing led to another. We started wrestling. And it was something that we enjoyed quite a bit and we were fairly good at. But it was something we did between football and baseball, and we were wrestling all the time anyway. I grew up on a ranch, and so we were beating the crud out of each other all day, and so that's kind of how I started wrestling. Uh, did you have uh, uh, an individual or single person that impacted your wrestling career the most? I would say my brother Leonard probably impacted it the greatest, him and Coach T. Um, when I was in high school, my brother, he followed us all over the place. Him and his wife, Eileen, um, everywhere I wrestled, they, they would go and they would watch the wrestling. They were there the whole time. My brother took a week off of work to work out with me before the state meet my senior year. And he's been probably one of my biggest fans and followers. And I looked up to him almost like a god when it came to wrestling. and. Uh, so I'd say my brother Leonard was more than just a little instrumental in my career. Do you have, uh, I'm, I'm sure you do, many outstanding memories, but uh, one experience that you had that stood out in your mind the most during the, your career? Yeah, and I was talking about it this afternoon. I got in the Southern Section Finals against a fellow named Howard Lawson who actually was in my wedding, but I didn't know who he was. I get in the finals of the Southern section and I'm standing there in the middle of the mat and I'm, I was, I was a very intense wrestler and I was focused and I was ready to go on. But I didn't know who Howard Lawson was. I didn't know anything about him. I didn't know he was a Southern section champ. I didn't know he was a returning state champ. And I'm standing there in the middle of the ring and they introduced me. My credentials were okay. And then they introduced him. And we're at Westminster High School, and there must have been four, four to 5,000 people in this place in the finals with the dome light. And they introduced him as the CIF Southern Section Champion, the CIF California State High School Champion. I had no idea. And I just, I almost fell to the ground. And I just stood up in front of all these people, and I know they had to be going, what's he doing? And I stopped, and I kind of walked over to my coach, Coach is, and I go, you didn't tell me this. And they go, we thought you knew. And I'm going, well, I guess it's going to be a little harder than I thought. And then me and Howard proceeded to practically murder each other for six minutes. And uh, he won that match, and then he went on to win the state meet again. But I beat, the last time we wrestled, I, I, beat him at Cal, I beat him at San Jose State in the pit in a dual meet against Cal Poly. My dad was there. so. I remember that, that that moment sticks out of my head like no other. I bet that's a good one. Uh, I was coaching Howard that year. Oh, were you? So you remember that match? That was a Donnybrook. They must have stopped that thing three or four times, and I should have pinned him, but he slipped out of that headlock. <sighs> <laughs> Me and Howard became great friends in Bakersfield. We were, we were running partners. Now, what part of your personality uh, enabled you to achieve in the sport of wrestling? I'm psychotic. I hate to lose. And my only goal was just to beat the living shit out of anybody I wrestled. And I didn't care if I was down by 10, 13, 14 points, I was going to beat your ass and pin you, and I didn't care. And I used to tell myself what I lack in skill, I got to make up for desire. And I was never the most skilled wrestler, but 
I don't think anybody wrestled harder than I did or as intense as I did. And I think, well, if you want to say that was a secret to your success, that was mine. Um, I got much better in college as a wrestler and Wayne Jones, who was an All-American at San Jose State, he actually kind of took me under his wing and he made it very clear to me, he goes, Pat, they're just as tough as you are, but they can, bet, they can wrestle better than you. He goes, you might want to figure this out. So I did, and then I, I stopped going into matches with the intensity and I just tried to learn the things that he was teaching me. And then I was able to bring it all back my junior year and I had a lot of success my junior year um, against better people. And so to answer your question, what was my attribute? I would say just my sheer intensity and will to win.